What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage all your remote desktop connection with this free tool. You can create as many connections as you like. You can organize them. You can create servers. You can create SSH and many other types of connection with this free tool. And you can have all in one spot instead of constantly looking up or remembering all of your remote connection IP addresses. Open your internet browser and go to this website. And then in here, press on download. And then they have three different versions. They have stable, pre-release and nightly build. I'm going to download stable version. I'm going to download MSI package. You can do a zip file. Once the download is complete, you can run it from here or you can navigate to your file explorer and in the file explorer, just press on download folder. And then in here, you're going to be able to see your remote desktop connection manager and then just double click on it and go through the installation process. Once the installation is complete, we can put a check mark next to launch remote ng now and then press on finish and then we can minimize this folder in a web browser and right here we can set automatically update settings or customize or ask me again later and then i'm going to maximize the screen so on a startup here's what you're going to see so first thing we need to do we need to create connections so right click on connections and press on new connection then this tab is going to appear. Now we need to name it. Let's say, for example, server. And then press enter. And then right here on the left bottom, you can go in and you can make a few changes right here. So, for example, icon, we can drop down the menu and we can change it to either file server or what kind of server it is. And then it will change a little icon. It will change to a file server. Then panel, we can leave it a general. And then right here, we're going to configure the connection. Now we need to type the IP address of the specific server. And then username and password and domain. And if you want to skip username and password, you can. Once it's going to try to connect, it's going to prompt for credentials. Or you can type your credentials here. That way, it's not going to prompt for your credentials. So I'm going to do this for example. And then password. and then domain server and then we scroll down a little bit and then under protocol if it's a rdp session we'll leave it as rdp and the port number and then use console session server authentication minute to idle load balancer use cred ssp and then gateway resolution fit to panel automatically resize yes color cache display wallpaper bunch of this is just set to no by default, you can change it to yes and then redirect. Most of it is set to no and then miscellaneous. Once we're done configuring, so then we can right click on a server and then we can press on connect. And then window is going to appear and it's going to connect automatically. But if you wouldn't put your username and password, it would still connect, but then it would prompt you for credentials. And then once you're done, you can right click on the server tab up top and then you can press on disconnect or you can just right click on the server itself and you can disconnect from here. And then, for example, let's say you would like to create SSH connection. So same thing what we're going to do. Actually, what I would recommend to do, press on this little folder and then we're going to create for example, two different folders, because if you have a lot of servers and SSH connections or switches or something like that, you probably would want to organize instead of just having a bunch of connections in one list. So this one, we're going to keep it under servers and then we're just going to move it here. And then we're going to create one more folder. We're going to type SSH or you can type switches or something else. And then underneath, we're going to add a new connection and then we're going to type SSH. Or if you're trying to create to a certain switch, you can type a switch name and then press enter. And then same thing right here for the icon. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change it to putty because that's what I'm going to be using. And then you can see it changed the actual connection to a little putty icon. 
and then general panel you can leave it at general and then the host ip and then username and password and domain i'm gonna leave that as blank and then protocol we're gonna change it from rdp to ssh either version one or version two i'm not sure i'm just gonna try version one for right now port 22 and then same thing right here you can add miscellaneous and then once it's done right click on ssh and press on connect looks like i need to set that to version 2 so i'm going to go back here really quick i'm going to close this i'm going to set to version 2 and then i'm going to try it again connect and then at this pop up just going to press no and now it's asking for login pi and that's it um ssh to my raspberry pi and then same thing again once you're done you can just type exit and then press on enter or you can right click on a tab and press on disconnect and this is pretty much it with this free remote desktop manager you can manage all your servers all your switches or any ssh connections or any other connections without keeping track or constantly looking up the ip address of certain hosts that you need to remote in and if this video was helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching